Prosecutors have asked to have him detained for another 30 days. Remember, they have to do this for 30 days each time, and they can do it for a maximum of six months. The court granted the prosecutor's motion to keep him in custody. And then they appealed that ruling, and the judge denied that. And then they went to the an appellate court. They have ruled that Andrew Tate, Tristan, and the two other females that are with him that are in custody on this case to serve it on electronic home monitoring. Let's just kind of uh, watch a video of them being released. First of all, so he's been in custody since December, like December 29th or something like that. So for a few months. It's not, but a little over 90 days. When you all of a sudden hit fresh air, after being cooped up in custody, it's got to feel really good, even if you are on electronic home monitoring. Mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that in a second. Ecstatic. I just want to say that the judges today made the right decision. I respect uh, what they've done for me, and they will be vindicated in their decision because I'm an innocent man and I can't wait to prove it. When they get out of jail like this and have a press conference, obviously, you know, there's a shit ton of people there and they got to be really careful what they say. And the reason being, you know, you're going to have to go back to court. So if you're not respectful of the court, they're not going to be respectful of you. Dog sitting there. Now remember, there's a couple of different crimes that, that they're being charged with. And, you know, I just read an article where they actually, it sounds like they have been charged, uh, but it's still in the investigative phase, and they have until June to actually go to trial. So they have till June, to charge, but let's talk about what, they're char what they are going to be charged with or what they're going to go to trial on. You, you've got the sex trafficking stuff, and what they're accused of is this uh, lover boy scenario where they convince these women to come to Romania because they're going to marry him or whatever, and then they get him to do the webcam, which is highly lucrative. And it, by his own words, they, he defrauds them out of at least 20% of what they're entitled to. But let's let's keep watching. Step it is. It really isn't freedom because he's not free to go about his business. He has to stay at his home. <laughs> but it's much better than being cooped up in a single room in a Romanian jail. So let's let's talk about what it means to be on home monitoring. When you're on home monitoring, you generally have a bracelet around your ankle that connects to a, a, a modem kind of thing and it records where you are. And if you cut it off uh, or if you are out of range, uh, the monitoring mm. people will get notified and the warrant will issue. It's a little bit emotional. I've been in one room since last year, so uh, it's a little bit emotional. Uh, I want to give respect firstly to the judges who heard us today. Because what did he say? He gives a lot of props, right? What did he say before? Do you remember? Oh no, not the court in Romania. Okay. The internationally yeah, yeah. respected Romanian courts. They're corruption free, as we all know. Put me in jail. Put me in jail. You won't you put me in jail. I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna pile of money like this. I mean, the request. This sells mine. Bang, bang. You know, I'll be chilling. Yeah, I'll be the best quarantine ever. Huh. Best quarantine ever. Very attentive and they listen to us and, and they let us free, so I have to give absolute respect to them. I, I truly believe that justice will be served in the end. There is zero percent chance of me being found guilty of something I have not done. I maintain my absolute innocence, and I think most people understand this. And uh, I look forward to uh, being home. So thank you very much, everybody. See you guys for the next day. Andrew Tate now is under the watchful eyes of the court. He has a, an ankle monitor, which means that his movements are monitored 24-7. Let's see what he's... And then we have a little bit of uh, footage of him just being... And there's not much that he can do. He, he has to be at home. Now, let, let's see what his 
what he says about his own place. Straps in my wardrobe. Look at the what suit am I gonna wear? What fucking god? What I'm gonna say right here because the police roll. So there's no way they're gonna let him have guns at home. One of the things he's done is he's registered his home as a shooting range that allows him to have firearms. You're not allowed guns in the range, but you are allowed guns in your shooting range. So I get my house registered as a shooting range. Bro, you don't know me. You don't, you're not allowed guns. There's a shooting range over there. Well, there's a shooting range. I'm a shooting range. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a little bit of a fraud. I'm a shooting range. Because I'm the fucking top G. If I can open- Top G! I'm the fucking top G! What color is the El Bugatti? You know, what What color do you think Warren Buffett's Bugatti is? Oh, wait, he doesn't have one. He is in the same house that he's had for 30 years. He drives, you know, a Buick, and, and he's the one of the richest men in the world. You don't have to have a Bugatti in order to have balls, in order to have a bank, in order to be decent, in order to, to be a man. Casino? You think I can't get the paperwork in your shooting range? This is a business establishment. <laughs> and I have a shooting range. And you come to my fucking house, you're the target. So, I mean, what, what kills me is is the ver- verboseness that he, he the, the sheer temerity that he's got to be like this. Now, let's, let's talk about where things are going to go from here. He's going to ha- have to have a trial between now and June. And it, it, this will be, I don't know if it, I doubt that we're going to see any in the, you know, cameras in the courtroom. And remember, you've got more than just the sex okay, trafficking man. stuff. You've got, you know, probably I bet there might be some weapons violations. There will certainly be some tax violations. So what does this mean for Tate in, until he gets to trial? Well, one, his lawyers will be, you know, try to prep something for trial, uh, you know, prep the file for trial. Number two, he's not free to leave his house. He has to stay there. And if he has any violations with that ankle monitor on, They'll issue a warrant. He'll wind up back in jail. And we're not sure if there is any other conditions of release, but his his freedom to move around is certainly restricted. And also, there might be some restrictions on social media and what he can say and what he can't say. You saw, you saw the difference between beginning and after. Before he was in custody, how badass he thought he was, and then he comes out, oh, I have nothing but the utmost <laughs> respect for the judges well, and the court yeah, system, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, that's you I want mean, you have to, you to be like that. And so he's not stupid. I mean, he's done some stupid things, but he's striking the right chord in terms of a tone as he's being released. He's just praising the judge and, and not really going after anybody. But think about this. He's, now he's embraced Islam, but he also has this misogynistic abuse uh, streak that runs through him, grew whoever he wants. And I just think that his lifestyle is inconsistent with being a good practicing Muslim. We're going to follow this. This is going to start to heat up because he's going to have a trial on these issues unless unless they don't have the goods on him. If they don't have the goods on him, then they got to let him go, and and they have to dismiss their case. You know, you see how the pattern on our on our just our little tiny channel and how you know the viewership. You know, when we put anything Tate out, it goes crazy. Well, Tate's now going to be more viral viral than ever. And so, you know, the, I'm, but it's not about the same Rumble? crazy thing on Rumble. <laughs> okay. Rumble yeah, I'm sorry. On, uh, on Rumble, he, you know, he would have these emergency meetings. So I, don't, I really don't know much about them other than the fact that, that, that people are clamoring to see if he's going to have those things. And, and what his tone is going to be going forward will be interesting because I bet he has a more muted tone, a more disciplined tone. Down than, you know, just sitting there and being ultra masculine and talking about, you know, all the illegal shit that he's done. Yeah, he's going to get that way. I bet he won't be doing that anytime soon. And and, he, and here's the thing. That, yes, we'll you see. know why people like Donald Trump, for example? They like him because he says what we think in a sense. You know what I mean? He's he's he, And he's verbose. Mm, and it's, it, it's, it's a train wreck that's kind of fun to watch. And then... Andrew Tate is the same way. That's one of his draws. That's one of his allures. Blah, 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 blah. And he, he's a self-proclaimed misogynist. And and so it'll be interesting because that's his draw, right? His his mouth and his attitude and his swagger. That's all his draw to the incel community. And what you're going to see is I bet you're going to see a more muted, a more disciplined, and you know, a tamed down 
while this is, I mean, he, he'd be stupid to, to go back to his old ways. Because if he does, yeah. what awaits him? Clanging door therapy. So this has been our reaction to the news that Andrew Tate has been released on home yeah. monitoring. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reaction.